The materials you will need to create your own state necklace are 22 gauge wire, a wire cutter, round nose pliers, and an image of the state of your choice. I chose to do, to do Wisconsin for this tutorial. You can find the images on Google. Just resize the image to how big you want it to be. You are going to use the image as a template. You will also need a spare necklace or else you can purchase a chain necklace. All these items were purchased from Joann Fabric Store. First you want to cut about 10 inches of wire off. Then you are going to make a loop. Using your round nose pliers, you will bend the wire down and then you twist it around. Using your wire cutter, you will cut off the extra wire sticking out. This is how your loop should look like. Next, lay the wire on top of the state template. I started off using my free hand to hold down the loop on the wire, but later found that it was easier to tape it down. Next, you want to use the round nose pliers to help you bend the wire based on the template. You want to bend the wire gently based on the curve on the template. It does take a little trial and error and it may not be perfect, but as long as it's close enough, it will be fine. You are lucky if you have an easy state. As you can tell, Wisconsin has a lot of curves. Follow the template all the way around with the wire. Make any adjustments along the way as needed. When you made your way around back to the top, you want to remove the tape and then you want to take the end of the wire and wrap it around the loop. You can wrap this around a couple of times and then cut off the extra. Then you are done. Now all you have left to do is to hook the state onto a necklace. This is how my Wisconsin state necklace turned out. I hope you have tried to make your own state necklace. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.